Praise God. Come on, lift your hands. How many people believe God is here? Come on, do you believe God is here? Hallelujah. We are going to stand in the gap for our nation. You know, the word to intercede means to stand in the gap before the king on behalf of another. It's important that we know what we're trying to do right now. We're going to go before the king on behalf of our nation. Let me put it a different way. You're going to use your credit that you have with the king to ask for something on behalf of our nation. Amen? Just in case you don't know you have credit, the Bible says about Jesus Christ that he was given as a sacrifice, as an ashar. That means an overpayment. Glory be to God. We don't have time to go there, but it's an overpayment. Jesus was not a like-for-like -like payment for your sin. Jesus was an overpayment. So what that means is that right now we've got five minutes, but in five minutes we can turn the tide. Why? Because we are people with credit before the king, and we can change something now. And how many people believe that? See, there's no point praying if we don't agree. It only takes a short prayer of faith to change everything. How many people believe you have credit with God? Someone say, I have credit with God. I am the righteousness of God. The second thing we need to know is everything happens in agreement. The best of what God has for you is in the place of agreement. The whole world is created to synchronize in agreement to bring our beauty. And right now, we can decide the destiny of this nation if we agree. If you agree that you are not just a mama and that there is word in your mouth to turn the tide of this nation, we can turn the tide. So, Father, I stand here with every person who agrees. I stand with every person who agrees in this place. And we declare in this nation that nobody but Jesus Christ sits upon the throne of this nation. We declare that Jesus Christ is Lord in number 10. Jesus Christ is Lord in every council house. Jesus Christ is Lord in every corridor of authority. We lift up the Prime Minister, the outgoing Prime Minister. We speak the blessing over her. We declare that she is blessed in the name of Jesus. We declare your protection over her and over everything that she is. We pray for the incoming Prime Minister. We ask, oh God, for somebody whose heart is turned towards you. You are the God who can use a Rahab as well as a Mary. You are the God who can use a Cyrus as well as a David. All we are looking for, God, is somebody whose heart is turned towards you. And as a company of believers, we stand in faith and we declare in the name of Jesus that the next person who sits on that throne, their hearts will be turned towards you. Concerning the church in this nation, I am not a prophet or a son of a prophet, but the word of the Lord is inside of me this evening. And I decree and I declare that the church is rising up. I decree and I declare that the church is rising up. That there is a way of people who are not bound to religion, who are not bound to the cycle of sameness. I decree and declare that the eyes of the church are opening up, that we are becoming a people, oh God, who do not love themselves unto death, but give themselves for your cause, oh God. I break every spirit of selfishness among the church, and I release the church into the world who is strong in what they do. I break every spirit of selfishness and I declare in the name of Jesus, the church is operating in power. Our words don't fall to the ground. When, we, when they say there is a casting down, we say there is a lifting up. We declare we are the righteous, seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus and we take our place tonight. Hallelujah. 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 We as the Spirit, we with the Spirit, the Spirit and the